Remember that time when you were like teenager, when you were young, you probably had a dream or something in your life. And this dream gave you this fire in the belly. That's what I like to refer to as this I don't even know how else to describe this this fire in the belly, this like insane level of motivation drive you dreamed about it and it was like you could feel it and it just at the at the time at that age you know you were willing to do whatever it took and it was the best one of the best feelings in the world feeling that that fire in the belly and then obviously life came and <laughs> came like a freaking wrecking ball and just smacked us in the face and you know, when we get, got introduced to drugs and alcohol and all kinds of things like that that numbed us and, and basically just threw a fucking bucket of water right over that fire of the belly. Like, and I remember for a long time it was like, man, I'd forgotten about it for a long time, that fire in the belly. And then, uh, and then one day, every once in a while, it would just come to mind and I would just think about it. Like, man, remember that? fired up I used to be when I was younger like I remember I would just you know no drugs no caffeine no stimulants no nothing and uh, and I remember I just I would get this like insane level of drive and motivation and, uh, and it was a beautiful thing and I wondered if it was possible to ever get it back again or if that was just like you know just like the hormones being a young man and that would ever come back. Well, I'm here to say that it can come back. And absolutely, it can come back with a vengeance. Today, that's why I'm all covered in sweat. I run every single day. Today is day 135. Ran every single day. And I've just been smashing PRs. Ran another 5K today. And I was running so hard felt like, you know, like acid was just pouring through my legs and it was just like, I just didn't care. I just wanted to push myself so hard and my stomach was cramping, but I was just so fired up. That fire in the belly was just like exploding me. <clears throat> Ran a sub uh, 24 minute 5K, um, which uh, me is the fastest that I've ran a 5K since uh, I was like in high school. Uh, not my PR, my all-time PR of all time is, uh, um, it was back when I was on the cross-country team, which was still slow, but it was 20 minutes and 50, sec 50, 50 or 55 seconds, so about a 21-minute 5K, still really slow, but, you know, hey, uh, my goal is to get back and freaking smash that. I want to smash through and run faster than I even did in high school, and I can feel it coming, and I feel so fired up and inspired shooting towards that again and um and it just feels good to have the fire back in the belly again because it was dead for so long and I didn't think it would ever come back again and I attribute a lot of it to living a sober life living a clean life I think this fire in the belly comes <clears throat> as a result of as a result of the recipe, the ingredients from a, the recipe of all the different emotions of life, you know, drugs, marijuana, all those things suppress the emotions of life, but when you allow them to come in, you know, whatever it is, stress, uh, anxiety, depression, whatever, all the, all the, just the normal emotions of life, you know, that we all go through, and you're not numbing them out. And at the same time, you pair that with goals that you're working on and your purpose. That's what I feel like is the combination that, like a chemical reaction that creates that fire in the belly. And I never felt it like this while smoking every single day. Yes, I was a high producer and achiever and I created businesses, made six figures as a stoner, put myself through college, all that never feel it like this unless you're completely sober and I think it has to do with the combination of all those things being sober taking hit, hit taking the hits the elements of life head-on but at the same time not just that don't just take but also have goals you're working on so I'm a big proponent of have goals you're working on goal write goals down next year I want to accomplish uh, I want to complete my first full triathlon 
over the next two years, I want to run my first marathon. And then I have a whole boatload of business goals. Over the next couple weeks, I'm going to just be just drilling down, working on all my goals that I want to smash through for 2019. I take this time of year very seriously. So set down some goals and then identify what your purpose is in your life. I think that's one of the biggest problems in the world is that people don't know what their purpose is. And when you know your purpose is, man, you can just, nothing can stop you. But even with purpose, if you're numbing it every day with drugs, alcohol, getting high, it's not going to be the same. You're not going to get that same fire in the belly. So let me know if you know what I'm talking about, this fire in the belly. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you miss it? Has it been a long time since you felt it? It's been so long since I felt it. And I really haven't felt it on this level until the past couple of months. It's uh, It's been, a, I feel like, like slowly but surely, you know, I think it was like, you know, is this real? And now that my body, all right, you know, George is back. We're playing ball, baby, let's go. And now it's like all the elements and that's and the fire is booming again. But it wasn't instantly, it wasn't like right when I quit smoking pot, you know, it's been a process. But I'm here to say that yes, the fire in the belly can come back and it's one of the most beautiful feelings in the world. So let me know your comments in the, uh, in the comments below. If you know what I'm talking about, the fire in the belly. If you miss it, you want it back. If you're feeling it, if you've quit weed and you're starting to get it back, let me know. All right, till next time, see ya.